anxiety attacks, you want to rake your chest. So this is solution number one. So when people, when y'all get uh, anxious, what do you feel? You, sometimes your chest get tight. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. You start shallow breathing. <laughs> and, then you, and then your blood pressure goes up. Your heart rate goes up, right? So what do you want to do? You want to relax your diaphragm. When you hyper, when, you, when you're shallow breathing, you actually hyperventilate and that makes you even more anxious. So you want to, what I call rake your chest, is you want to rake your chest right so you want it you in between your ribs you have these little tendons you don't want them to contract you want them to relax so this by raking it it relaxes those tendons and ligaments right and then if you have someone that's nearby a friend or family member you want to have them rake your back so rake your back and you can put some liniments you can put some uh, massage bombs something like a eucalyptus, peppermint oil, essential oils. You can also use, uh, we have something here called woodlock oil. It's like invigorating muscle relaxant oil. And you just keep on, you do it the whole back, I would say up to your bra strap for women and about, uh, for men, about mid right here. So especially you wanna rake this center of the back because nerves from here, okay, from this mid back, actually go to your diaphragm. Your diaphragm is what allows you to breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. And if that's always contracted, then it's hard to expand your lungs. So if you can't expand your lungs, that's why you should do shallow breathing. That's why you go <laughs> versus <sighs> That, I'm able to take a deep breath because of the diaphragm. So you also wanna rake down here because your diaphragm is right here, right? So you wanna rake, rake your chest up here and rake your down here until you can start breathing deeply and you will see your anxiety start to calm down, all right? Make sure you hit like this video and follow me here for more of these awesome solutions. And remember, anything is achievable. This is Jimmy, the acupuncture guy. Avoiding activities because chronic pains interferes with it? Let's stop it by doing these three coping tips for your chronic pain. Learn to prioritize exercising. Exercise can produce endorphins that helps you feel better by suppressing pain signals while also improving your mood. Track your pain level up to 1 to 10. You should be aware on how tolerable the pain you're experiencing and address it immediately to your doctor in order for him slash her understand your situation and provide the treatment you can do. List all the activities you've done. Some activities can be a trigger for your condition, so be careful of what you're doing and know your triggers. For more health tips, follow Achieve Integrative Health. Does your neck hurt? Then you need to get some of these magic glasses to reduce your neck pain. Yes, these glasses can actually reduce your neck pain. This is Jimmy, I'm the Accu guy, and so you know, with COVID, all of us are doing virtual, right? We're on the computer almost like 12 hours a day. And so this is what happens. You're staring at the screen and sooner or later, after a month, you're like, you're moving closer and closer to the screen and you're creating this called tetanet, right? And that's what's causing a lot of the stress and the, and the pain in your neck and shoulders. And so what's the problem is because we're staring at the screen so often that we're, it gets blurry because of that blue, the blue, the, the, the blue light. The blue light is actually terrible terrible for your eyes and these are you can call you know some of them call them blue blockers but they block the blue lights so when you put these on mine are just slightly tinted orange um, very very fade you don't have to get super dark orange but the darker the orange the, the more it blocks the blue light you can get these glasses I got this one um, at Amazon it's called gamma ray optics it's probably backwards gamma ray optics at Amazon you can get there's there's tons of them and I like this one and it's very comfortable. And so when I put these on, I notice that I'm not leaning forward as much because I, it's, I'm not, I'm able to see more clearly now. And so I'm able to sit up straight more and keep my neck up. And that helps you relieve your neck pain and your neck, the stiffness in your shoulders, right? That's why I said these glasses can actually help you with your neck pain. So if you're on the computer more than 12 hours or even more than eight hours, you need to get some of these blue blocking, blue light blocking glasses, blue light block. I have contacts, I wear contacts and then I wear these over it. These can help relieve, help you focus more, see the screen better, and then relieve that tech neck to push it forward, to push it backwards, right? Make sure you like this post and follow me here for more of these awesome solutions. And remember, we believe in, in, at Achieve Integrative Health that anything is achievable. Can't enjoy your vacation anymore because of your chronic pain? 
Here are some managing tips so you can enjoy your next vacation. Always be prepared when you decide to go on a vacation while you have chronic pain. You can certainly ease it once you manage your stress and do not let anything negative affect you. Do everything moderately, do not push yourself to its limit unless you want to trigger your chronic pain. And lastly, always keep your treatments in hand. You don't know when and where the symptoms of your condition can flare up, so keep yourself prepared and ready for it. For more health tips, follow Achieve Integrative Health. Do you have chronic kidney problems? Then this is solution number one. This is a Tai Chi exercise that can help increase the blood circulation to your kidneys. So regardless if you have chronic UTIs, kidney stones, kidney infections, or maybe you were born, you have some genetic issues with your kidneys, regardless, you tend to have lower back pain because of those kidney issues, because the kidneys are located in your lower back. So this is a sitting position. Sometimes it's hard to stand when you have kidney issues, right? So sitting down, this is called lifting the ball and pushing the ball. It's a Tai Chi exercise. So you're gonna go to one side and you're gonna lift the ball, lift your imaginary ball, you're gonna bring it over and then you're gonna push it down, right? You'll notice my body, my lower body stays straight. All I'm doing is I'm twisting my uh, upper body, which helps with your lower back. So lift the ball one side over your head and then you wanna push it down, push it down and then lift another ball okay over your head and push it down you want to do it slowly your hands want to be relaxed okay your whole shoulders need to be relaxed so uh, here's another degree of difficulty you're going to as you're lifting the ball you're going to breathe in you're going to breathe in and then when you push the ball down that's when you breathe out breathe in You wanna do this for at least two minutes, okay, twice a day, first thing in the morning and then right before you go to sleep. This will start, not only are you stretching your lower back, but it's in, in the breathing, oxygenates the blood pushing your blood to your kidneys which helps the kidney function because you're feeding it with oxygen it's going to help restore its function and help improve its function right so key is you want to do this slowly and relaxed all right make sure you like this video and follow me here click the plus sign follow me here for more of these awesome solutions all right one last thing and remember, anything is achievable.